Hey everyone, John Runner 88 here with another video. This time it's going to be a bit of a droid discussion. Um, cause I love droids. I love droid figures, and um, it I'm just a sucker for them. I I just love all the colors, the varieties. I mean, there's not too many varieties, but the variety in color. It um, you know, the markings just gives each droid their little personality. Um. And they're just, like, a great part of Star Wars. They're just so unique. Like, whoever dropped something. <clears throat> whoever came up with, like, the astromech droid design is just, like... I'm sure I could find out if I looked into it. Um, I'm sure, like, Ralph McCor or McQuarrie um, probably came up with the initial, like, three-legged design. And then somebody, you know, the designers for the actual props and whatnot um, just allowed, uh, made it more refined and fit in with the rest of the, um, Star Wars aesthetic. Um, but yeah, it, they're fantastic. Yeah, it's just, like, such a unique design. Um, it doesn't, like, it doesn't look like a human. Like, C-3PO doesn't have, like, an humanoid design. Um, it's very unique and, um, specific to, like, Star Wars. Um, and I think that it's a really missed opportunity, and like Hasbro, um, this is just like another kind of, this is just like a video to kind of like elaborate on some ideas for like, that Hasbro could be using to beef up the toy lines and stuff, um, and they started, they did an okay job with like the, um, the Galaxy's Edge stuff that came to, um, Target stores, um, and in Canada, I think it's Toys R Us stores, um, with the, um, three and three quarter inch, um, Droid Depot line, um, I don't have one of those boxes anymore, I think I got rid of them, but they're just tiny little boxes, just enough to fit the droid, and some accessories, like they've got, they had like the Jabba's sail barge accessory thing, which is great. You can, like, pop an Android. All those drinks are spilling out, but, you, you know. Um, one of them came with, like, this little thruster, and you can plug it into most droids. It'll, like, stick onto the side. There's this guy that came with it. Um, and it's cool because it's, like, an actual... It's two pieces. So, like, I've taken this off and used it as, like, a little, like, blaster. Or a little blast for, like, a, you know, a blaster. Um, but it's cool. It's like two pieces and stuff. Um, it just it slips onto most droid legs um, if there's a good enough gap between the like paneling on it. Um, <clears throat> but like Disney Disney World Disneyland have been doing it for years. They've got like the um, I picked this on I picked this up on Macari um, a little while ago. Um, it's a good deal for the <clears throat> um, I got a good deal on the two of them. But it was these two, respectively, in their little, um, it's a two-pack. Um, but that's something, like, Hasbro could be doing. Um, I know the Disney World stuff, it's not, like, by Hasbro. I don't know who does it. It just says, like, Disney theme park merchandise, Disney, Lucasfilm. So, somebody's making them. But it's not Hasbro. But Hasbro has made plenty of them. And, like I said, they've got, they were behind the, um... <clears throat> the Galaxy's Edge droids. Um, these are like Hasbro's designs. I'm pretty positive. Of course, I'm not going to find... Yeah, Hasbro. It's on their leg. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they've got all the pieces. All they need to do is just make more droids. Um, and they could do plenty of things. Like, like that two-pack I just showed. Um, they could easily do a two-pack with like two similar colored droids like their aesthetics are very similar so you could get like um you know so just something like this like um just with like interchangeable parts have like um make it so you know you can swap their legs and stuff and they won't be very jarring like i got this one off um makari it's not too bad but like you know people will make combinations like this when you i dirtied them up a little bit um but people will make like um, droids like this at like the theme parks and they don't you know it's not 
it doesn't quite go together um but it does match enough with like the purples and stuff but um but like the chassis just kind of stands out a little bit it doesn't quite work together um and that's what you find mostly online with somebody like selling these it's like oh they've got like an orange leg a yellow leg a purple body a green head and it's like that droid looks stupid <laughs> Um, sorry, person who put it together. Um, this one looked good though, so I was cool with this one. Um, again, got it for a really good price. Um, especially for a droid, like I can't just like get in a store or something like that's something that somebody put together themselves. They were there, they picked out the pieces, and that's cool. Um, but there's some droids from like the, like I noticed this when I got these, and it was a little um, disappointing. Their legs. This is so cheap. <laughs> It just has like these bits printed on, whereas with like the Hasbro ones, um, it's actually like sculpted. It's not colored, of course. I'll, I might add a little silver there at some point, make it pop out a little bit more. Um, and also with like the, I know they did away with like the um, legs being or having these coils down in the parks because like some people might grab like two left legs or something and then have like the coils in the back. Um, but they usually. The, they mostly, I don't think I have one here, uh, no, but they normally don't put, like, these two little dots here. I think that just looks kind of stupid, um, but with Hasbro, like, they, they've got the coils and stuff for, um, what they're coming out with the Galaxy's Edge things, but that's such an easy way for them to, um, <clears throat> it's just such an easy way for them to beef out their three-point, um, Three, three and three quarter inch line um just have these little like you can have if not like droid depot like you could do just like a droid garage or something like just a new line droid factory like they've done it before um disney parks might have like a licensing on that now but um they did that before with like the legacy collection um but there's so like there's these like charging stations the droid charging stations which they could re remake though or do up those again package those in with some droids um they're doing like the double packs with the bb units just make them like kind of a little more cohesive and i think that'll be awesome there's like another i'm sure they, there's another like style of bb <clears throat> unit head that they could pump out and make even more varieties um i don't believe um they didn't make a droid depot um, version of the uh, R4 head here. They had like R5, um, they had like R3s here. Um, this is one from that line. <clears throat> There's so many things that they could do to just have extra product out there. If the vintage collection is going to have so many, such huge gaps in between the waves coming out, and if they're not going to have enough product to get through those waves, it's like they're out for like a couple of weeks and then it's just empty pegs for. A couple months until the next waves come, wave comes out have stuff like this out there kids would love buying these things like is, have i mean it was like 10 bucks for a droid and an accessory it was 10 bucks for two bb units that was a great deal very surprised that they did that with like the two units they could have easily just done like an extra head um instead of like a whole body and a head but that was awesome um <clears throat> and you could definitely fit one of these charging stations in um and yeah, and there's so many, like, you can, it's mix and match too. Like, I, I love going to Disney World. And one of my, the most ex things I'm excited about is to go into one of the shops and just, like, build a droid. My very own little droid. Um, didn't build him, I, but I've, um, I think I have, like, three or four from other visits from when I went down there. <clears throat> and it's just like it's a little thing I get to take home and it's a little droid I built and you can Hasbro can do that with <clears throat> just at the stores you can just have like a droid pack for like you know, like 15 bucks have like you know like two droids and it'd be 20 bucks probably but I mean they could definitely do like <clears throat> some type of some type of deal with like two droids or something like that um, have that on the peg, oh, dropped them, but you can have that on the pegs, and then you can have little single ones in a little box display on the shelf, <clears throat> you could have two different lines, you could have a BB line, you could have an Astro line, um, 
you could just have like accessory packs like little like ten dollar accessory packs with like all the different accessories in it and like maybe some exclusive heads or some like domes that you can't get with the regular ones like there's so many things they could do and it's there's they've got all the stuff they've got the perfect designs they've just got to add color and pump in a different color plastic into the mold um and then you've got stuff like this like i said you've got like this that you can take off for like blasters blaster effects you've got all these individual cups here that you can i've done this plenty of times with figures having like a party or something and, and they can actually hold the cups like they're a great little size for <clears throat> to fit in a vintage figure's hands <clears throat> yeah that's just it's just me venting my frustrations about there just not being enough product and people wanting the product they're just it's just not there um because there's just such huge gaps in between the vintage waves coming out um <clears throat> yeah those are just some thoughts again i know hasbro is watching these and somebody's taking notes they have to be um <clears throat> and they can also call me up if they want um i'm local yeah um yeah thank you for watching guys again comments below if you've got anything to add or chat about i mean how can you disagree with me this would be awesome to just have tons of droids populating the shelves just figures out there um <clears throat> yeah thank you for watching subscribe if you would like to see some more stuff like this um and give me a like because that'd be cool um yeah thank you for watching bye guys